I blood to suck your blood. <laughs> It's time to gear up for Halloween, so here's a fresh batch of gadgets you'll need to scare up a really great time. I'm John P, and Geek Beat begins now. This scary episode of Geek Beat is brought to you by Audible. Yeah, Star Wars costumes. Star Wars costumes are always yeah. popular, and if you're going as any character who wields a lightsaber, you can rule the lands with a Wicked Lasers laser saber. It's the brightest, most realistic saber around, and it'll, it'll turn on and off with the flick of a wrist. If you decide to go as Darth Maul, make sure you get one of these matching demon iPhone 5 cases for your iPhone 5, obviously. I mean, why should your phone miss out on all the fun? If you'd rather not have horns sticking out of the side of your phone, and I don't know why you wouldn't, but anyway, you could always just get a Halloweeny wrap, put a Dracula on your phone, or this kind of Chewbacca looking werewolf, or Frankenstein. 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 The possibilities are endless. Well, not endless, there's six choices, which might as well be endless to me because I can't make up my mind. The X is an ever popular knife block that clearly demonstrates your affinity for the fine art of stabbing people in the neck and the chest and the head and the legs. What kind of sicko would buy one of these? You got one. Do you have rugrats or pets? Same thing, right? If so, seriously, Get some of these Night Eyes LED slap bracelets and slap them on your mini-me's. Not only will it help you keep an eye on them in the dark, but it also helps drivers see them in the target-rich environment that is Hallow's Eve. Not a bad way to spend nine bucks. Speaking of kids, before you head out trick-or-treating, why don't you treat the whole family to a nice audiobook from Audible? They have a whole collection of Halloween-themed audiobooks, and you could always get everyone together in the kitchen for some Halloween cookie baking while listening to a story in the background. Great way to have some quality family time. Maybe give Scary Halloween Stories by Hawthorne, Dickens, Stevenson, Balzac, and even more a listen. Or, if you'd rather have a laugh, there's Happy Halloween Stories, narrated by... Boris Karloff, Jack Benny, Lucille Ball, and a bunch of others. And of course, if you head over to audiblepodcast.com forward slash geekbeat, you can get one audiobook absolutely free when you sign up. It's like the Halloween goodies came early. If you've got little ones, I know it can be a bit of a chore hauling them around for blocks and blocks, so why not get a little help with a motorized electric wagon? This little plastic car disguised as a wagon has dual 30-watt motors that'll push it three miles an hour for up to 90 minutes. And let's face it, if you're taking the kids for more than a four and a half mile walk, you're going to need your own wagon. While you're strolling around, if you want to be the most popular kid on the block, you have to get one of these fog blasters. Oh, good Lord. If I had one of these, we'd never get any work done around here. That's why I got the regular fog machine hidden. If you really want to freak people out this year, don't try and dress up all scary and stuff. Just get one of these rubber horse head masks. It's the most disturbing thing you could possibly do, and I have nightmares just thinking about it. To make it extra creepy, stick one of these voice changers up in your gullet area and talk like an alien or a scary monster or something. Just don't come around here wearing all that get up. That's it for today's episode. If you know of other Halloween gadgets, tweet them at John Pose or drop me a note over on google.com forward slash John P. Now I gotta go get my costume ready. I've got Callie's leftover from last year. <laughs>